Welcome, dear traders. Traders are cautiously optimism ahead of the consumer price index in the United States. After the overnight rally on the Wall Street, the US stock futures are now trading mixed. In the Asian session, they scored modest gains. The inflation report for August is due in a few hours. Market tensions are mounting in anticipation of its release. And let's discuss what happened in the Asian session. August Consumer Price Index report will be the last before the Fed policy meeting scheduled for September 2021. All three benchmark indexes resumed growth amid speculation that inflation had perked. Perhaps the New York Fed's survey of the consumer expectations published on a Monday also improved market sentiment. It revealed that consumers expect inflation to fall in August to 5.7 from 6.2. As many indicators suggest a slowdown in inflation, they have uh, uh, rekindled uh, hope for a 50 basis point rate hike. Now, traders are trying to figure out whether inflation inflation has slowed down for the second month in a row. If so, how it uh, could affect the Fed stance as well as the global economy. Apart from that, the blackout period has begun prior to the FOMC meeting, meaning that there will be no speeches or comments till September 21. This is why market uncertainty is growing. Besides, even if inflation has perked, the regulator will hardly change its hawkish stance. Fed policymakers weren't against such assumptions last week, and they said that short-term inflation figures were not enough to move away from a monetary tightening. So, a 75 basis point rate increase for the third time in a row looks more likely. According to the CME Fed Watch, the probability of a 75 basis point hike, which traders are now pricing in, ranges from 89 to 93%. If inflation in the United States has really perked, it could shorten the monetary tightening cycle. For stock market, it's quite bullish, while for the US dollar, it's a downside factor. The pressure on the greenback is increasing as the risk appetite is growing amid hopes that inflation has already passed its highest levels. It's also down due to the hawkish policies of other central banks in the Asian the US dollar index was trading at 107.96 versus its rivals. The overnight decline of 0.7% was the largest since August. In the last four sessions, the US currency has depreciated by 2% in anticipation of CPI data. It's a moving today in the downward channel of 107.96 and 108.29. However, analysts are sure that this is just a short-term weakness before a steady rise. Bullish momentum will be strong as long as the greenback are trading above a 7 months support level of 106 points. Aggressive tightening and economic resilience remain the main drivers. As usual, the yen is adding gains amid a decline in the US dollar. In the Asian session, the dollar-yen pair has already broken through 142.11. However, it bounced back shortly after, trading in the sideways channel of 142.02 and 142.85. The US dollar rose slightly against the yen to 142.28. Nevertheless, the pay is a hovering in the bearish corridor. The yen is a trading below a 24-year high of 144.99 and seen since the early 1980s. Bank of Japan policymakers keep hinting at uh, intervention to stop the further weakening of the national currency. So far, they have made only verbal interventions as the weak yen has its pros and cons. So, sharp changes are quite risky. Japan is currently the only G10 economy with a more inflation significantly below 2%. At the same time, a weak yen is boosting import prices, crippling some businesses and household living standards.
Despite the fact that the Ministry of Finance has expressed concerns about the sharp moves of the yen, it will hardly take action to smooth them out. The four long positions are more favorable, although the risk of a trend reversal is a high now. The RC advanced as well amid Wall Street optimism and increased risk appetite. Today, the Audi USD pair reached 0.6895. In the Asian session, the Australian currency took advantage of the US dollar retreat, moving up in the range of 0.6863 and 0.6899. Apart from that, news from China also facilitated the growth of the Aussie. Despite economic worries, China revealed positive inflation data, so the central bank pledged to stick to its dovish stance. However, oil prices tumbled because of the deepening energy crisis in Europe and falling demand in China as a leading importer of crude oil. Naturally, it adversely affected commodity currencies. And that's all for now. We strive to make informative video reviews so that you can improve your trading results. Subscribe to our channel and have the latest Forex news at your fingertips. See you soon.